The holiday travel season is quickly approaching as we take a live look at RDU. And cybersecurity experts have a warning if you're headed there. You might want to make sure your phone is charged. CBS 17's consumer investigator Steve Sprecia shows us how using the charging stations in any public place could put you at risk. IT experts say that you can get all the data on your phone hijacked simply by doing this, plugging your phone into a public USB charger. From making calls to texting to going online, cell phones are a 21st century necessity, and we use them so much, we're always looking to replenish the battery. So what happens when you're out or you're traveling and your battery goes kaput? Well, you head to the nearest public charging station with a USB port. It's convenient, too, so a lot of people use it, I would imagine, especially myself. But doing that can put you at risk. IT security experts say that hackers use a method called juice jacking, and it's not just at airports, but hotels, cafes, even theme parks. When you open up some of these technologies for public use, you also open them up to public misuse. The method is similar to the ATM and gas station skimmer devices. Hackers manipulate the public USB ports so they can steal your data, your text messages, emails, photos, and lots more of your personal stuff. You get fooled into plugging in into, therefore you open yourself up to the vul vulnerability that exists. So how to prevent that from happening to you? Instead, take your phone charger and plug it directly into the wall. Now I'm glad to know that it's actually another way to secure my information. IT security experts also say it's a good idea to bring an extra battery pack or purchase something called a USB port defender. You can find those online. The port defender doesn't have the data pins found in the usual phone connector. It's only used to take in electricity. Now, RDU tells me they've had no reports of juice jacking here at this airport, but remember, these scammers are mobile. They move around the country, so take your precautions. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.